Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're diving into week two of free agency, and boy, are things heating up. Expect big moves from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Omar Khan, the mastermind behind their roster, is working tirelessly to make sure this team shines. Last week was a whirlwind. Russell Wilson joining the squad, a surprise trade for Justin Fields, and even Kenny Pickett finding a new home. But hold on to your hats, because there's more excitement coming. Keep your eyes peeled for Tyler Boyd or Mike Williams possibly joining the Steelers this week. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the skepticism surrounding these quarterback moves. Some pundits have ranked Russell Wilson's move as the ninth worst in free agency so far. Ridiculous, right? It's clear they haven't been watching the Steelers closely. Despite struggling offensively, they still managed a 10-7 record last season, even after their starting quarterback went down. Omar Khan knows the strength of this defence, and he's making moves to complement it. So, let's not underestimate the Steelers. They're gearing up for greatness. Mark my words. Let's take a closer look at the Steelers' offensive firepower. George Pickens is one to watch, with an impressive 63 catches for nearly 1-200 yards last season, averaging over 18 yards per catch. And don't forget about Jalen Warren, who brings some serious talent to the offensive line. Plus, we've got some solid tight ends in the mix. The missing piece? Quarterback help. But here's the exciting part. Arthur Smith, Russell Wilson and Justin Fields all have something to prove. Before we dive in, if you're enjoying the content, show some love by hitting that like button and subscribing for daily NFL updates. Steelers fans, your support means the world. Let's aim for 1,000 likes on this video. Now, let's talk about those quarterback moves. Justin Fields practically fell into our laps for a bargain. We're talking about a potential day one starter here, and even if he doesn't hit that mark, we've still got ourselves a steal. As for Russell Wilson, he's coming in as the starter. No questions asked. But the vibe in the locker room is electric. Fields is eager for the opportunity, and it's bringing a whole new energy to the Steelers, especially in the quarterback department. Sure, we had love for Mason Rudolph and Kenny Pickett, but it was time for a change. Omar Khan, when asked about Fields or Wilson, basically said, Why not both? And honestly, that's music to our ears. Let's see what these quarterbacks can do in black and gold. I'm absolutely pumped about either of these quarterbacks taking the helm. Let's start with Russell Wilson. Last season under Sean Payton, he threw 26 touchdowns with only 8 interceptions. That's what I call efficiency. Plus, he's a solid leader, despite what some critics say about him being a bit cringy. He brings stability and a positive locker room presence, which is exactly what the Steelers need. With Wilson at the helm, we can expect smoother sailing. Fewer interceptions, fewer mistakes, just getting the job done efficiently. Even if Russell Wilson isn't the long-term answer, we've got Justin Fields waiting in the wings. Now Fields has faced his fair share of criticism too, but let's not forget, both of these guys are working for Pittsburgh on the cheap. There's even talk of a potential long-term deal with Wilson down the line. According to a report from Jerry Dlack of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, the Steelers and Wilson are eyeing a longer-term partnership after this season. Wilson's playing on a one-year veteran minimum contract, but the Steelers are already thinking ahead. And here's the beauty of it. If Wilson performs like he did last season, we're looking at double-digit wins, playoffs, maybe even a playoff win. And if it doesn't pan out, hey, we've got him for less than $2 million this season. No harm, no foul. We can cut ties in the off-season, pick up Fields' fifth-year option and keep pushing forward. It's all about taking calculated risks, and Omar Khan isn't afraid to roll the dice. It's been a long time coming, but the Steelers are primed for offensive fireworks, and I couldn't be more excited. Let me tell you, folks, the Steelers aren't slowing down anytime soon. Picture this. It's the final stretch of the season. Your starting quarterback goes down, and suddenly you're relying on your third-string QB. That's not a situation you want to find yourself in. That's why we're making moves now. With guys like George Pickens on offense and studs like TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith on defense, the opportunity to win is still wide open, and it's not just for this season, it's for the long haul. Let's talk numbers.
Justin Fields has shown promise, especially with those deep throws. In 2023, he had an impressive 96.7 PFF passing grade on throws of 20-plus yards, that's third in the league. And with Arthur Smith calling the shots and Russell Wilson leading the charge, the offense is primed for success. But we're not done yet. Dante Jackson just restructured his contract, paving the way for more moves in free agency. Mike Williams and Tyler Boyd are on our radar, and talks are heating up. Just imagine the firepower Pickens, Williams, Boyd, paired with Najee Harris in the backfield and Wilson slinging passes. It's enough to make any Steelers fan giddy with excitement. And let's not forget about our defence. Despite TJ Watt's unfortunate injury last season, we're still a force to be reckoned with. With additions like Patrick Queen and Dante Jackson, we're poised to dominate. So, Steelers fans, how confident are you feeling? Rate your confidence in our free agency moves so far from 1 to 10. And while you're at it, let me know your thoughts on the potential additions of Mike Williams and Tyler Boyd. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more updates. Peace out.